No. No. I've been told these are really good for flattening slabs. However, I haven't found a way to mount them in my router yet. One of these days, maybe. One of these days. There's the right one. Yes, I could do it all by hand, but number one, that would take forever. And number two, this is incredibly fragile. And unfortunately, I only have one of these cookies to do it on. And the router is just far more safe. There's a better chance I'm gonna destroy this with a chisel than with the router. So yeah, I pulled out the router for that.
Let's carve.
So there you have it. This was a very fun, challenging project that I had a lot of interesting times learning new things on. It is a hard maple that came from a friend's yard. They had a tree chopped down. They had a couple cookies left over, and she asked me to make a clock from it. Uh, we had thought about making the in, in grain in table, but this is one that is just, uh, you don't see this quite as much. Uh, so we had a lot of different things on this, especially with the in grain working. Uh, working with thin in grain and mortising that out was incredibly difficult, as well as times where power tools really shine. It's, it's the best method that will give you the best result. Yes, you can do it with hand tools, but you're going to be running the risk and you're probably going to be busting up a couple cookies before you get one that works well. So that's one of the times where power tools are the best choice, not just the most efficient choice. And I like a lot of other things about this. I, normally I would draw a circle at a specific distance out from the center and then put all the letters in that circle and then leave some extra material over here. But in this case, I thought I'd make the circle actually the outline 
line of the wood. And so I pushed the letters out to be the same distance from the outside. It made a few things a little bit wonky in the spacing, but I kind of like that. It gives it a little bit more organic feel to it. And I'm kind of interested to see what you think about that. Um, it was a fun experiment. There were lots of different things like that that I got to play with and try out different methods. And this is one of those things where every time you get one of those experiments, some of those projects that they don't have to run perfectly, but you can try a few new things and maybe make something a little bit different, something that's a little more fun and stretch your boundaries in a different direction. This was a great project for that. So I hope you like that. If you do have any questions, comments, ideas, thoughts, snide remarks, throw those in the comments down below. I do read through all of them and I answer as many as I possibly can. So thank you for that. Also, if you hit the like button, it really does help out the channel. The algorithm keeps us going. And if you wanna help us even more, patrons on Patreon, members here on the channel, people who click that join button, everyone scrolling over here on the side, they are literally the ones keeping the lights on and keeping this channel going. So thank you for that. If you'd like to find out more about that, you can find Patreon in the link down below or you can click the little join button and become a member here on YouTube. So I think that'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. So there was a doctor who went to a bar every day at the same time after work. And the bartender always made him an almond daiquiri. And this was great, but one day the bartender ran out of almonds. And what was he going to do without almonds? Well, he thought this would be a great time to experiment and try something new. And so the doctor came in, he slid the drink up to him and said, here you go, doc. And the doc took a drink of it and said, what is this? He said, that's a hickory daiquiri, Doc.